on a tour of this beautiful facility out there. But I, I'm thrilled to be here. It really is coming first, full circle for me. I think in, about nine years ago, in 2000, Harry Meyer toured me in the first educator uh, facility, one of the most impoverished neighborhoods on the south side of Chicago. I couldn't have been more impressed then. I couldn't have been more impressed today. These kinds of things don't happen without great leadership and great collaboration. Adults coming together to do the right thing by children. So to the governor, to the first lady, thank you so much for your remarkable leadership. Oklahoma is one of the absolute national leaders on its focus on early childhood education. And that doesn't come without leadership at the top. It's interesting to me that everyone wants to talk about themselves being the education governor, the education senator, the education whatever. Lots of times the rhetoric, frankly, doesn't match up to the reality. Here it absolutely does. So thank you so much for your commitment. Please give another round of applause. To, to all the generous donors, I was pleased to meet Mr. Kaiser earlier this year and to, to get a sense of what's going on here. These public-private partnerships are the only way we're going to get there. There's never going to be enough private money. There's never going to be enough public money. We continue to point fingers. We continue to work in silos. And adults fight, kids lose. And what you guys are doing as a community is coming together, bringing scarce resources together. As Harriet said, it's not some wildly expensive new investment. It's the right thing to do for children. But it takes adults putting egos aside, sort of putting historical differences aside, and saying, let's figure out a better way to do this. This is a better way to do it. And this is starting to become a real national model, starting to get to some critical mass. I love, I sense a little healthy rivalry between Oklahoma City and Tulsa. <laughs> I, I love that. You know, Often mayors compete about sports teams, about other things. What's more important than competing about early childhood education? So. so this center might be 100 feet larger than the other one. This one might be 200 feet larger. So we'll keep growing these things. But that, that's, I love it. I love it. I love that sense of sort of civic, civic uh, engagement, civic mindedness, and, uh, and working together. And why is this so important? And obviously, I'm preaching to the choir here. This is a country, I'm just convinced, the president is convinced, we have to educate our way to a better economy. That's the only way we're going to get there. We have to dramatically increase our college graduation rates. It's very hard to get a good job today if you don't have some form of higher education. We have to dramatically reduce our high school dropout rates. We lose 1.2 million students to the streets every single year. Think about the devastating loss of human potential. Think about what that means to our, our nation's economy. And, how that inhibits our ability to compete globally for, for, for scarce jobs and scarce resources. So if our colleges have to get better, if our high schools have to get better, our middle schools and elementary schools have to get better, where does it all start? It all starts here at Early Childhood Education. And ultimately, education, what we have to get out of is we have to get out of the catch-up game. At every level, we're playing catch-up. Way too many colleges spend way too many resources on remedial classes. Way too many high schools spend money helping students who aren't ready for high school work. It goes right down. If we could simply get it right, if we could do it right with our one-year-olds, our two-year-olds, our three-year-olds, our four-year-olds, if our five-year-olds could hit kindergarten ready to learn and ready to read, they have a fighting chance to be successful. And if they're not, if they enter kindergarten behind, it is very, very hard, as the First Lady said, to catch them up. It is extraordinarily difficult. I think about the best kindergarten teachers in the world, and they receive some students who have been read to, who are reading themselves, they receive other students who don't know the front of a book from the back of a book, who don't know any of their letters, who sometimes don't even know their own name, they've been called a nickname all their life. And how does the best kindergarten teacher in the world teach that great disparity of ability levels? It is extraordinarily difficult. If we could start to level the playing field entering kindergarten, if we could give those great kindergarten teachers a fighting chance, then I think we as a country could go to an entirely different level. So I thank you for this remarkable sense of, of collaboration, a sense of public-private partnership, a sense that we can all come together to do something dramatically better for our children. This is a long-term investment. We won't see higher test scores tomorrow. We won't see higher graduation rates from high school tomorrow. We won't see higher college graduation rates for, for a, a decent long time. But I promise you, this investment will pay huge dividends long-term for this community, for this state, and for this country. So I thank all of you for your leadership. I thank, thank you for your sense of, of working together, common commitment, when we as adults come together behind children, great things happen, and the state of Oklahoma is really a shining example of that. Thank you so much.